Asthma and anaphylaxis have very similar symptoms. Both can cause respiratory symptoms like coughing and wheezing and shortness of breath. But when it's asthma, the symptoms are restricted predominantly to the lungs and the airways. And they tend to develop more over time and are not quite as immediate as symptoms of anaphylaxis are. Symptoms of asthma can start with something as simple as a cold or through exposure to tobacco smoke. These lead to feelings of inflamed airways and mucus that trigger the symptoms that we see with an asthma attack. With anaphylaxis, the allergic reaction usually occurs after exposure to an allergen, like a food or an insect sting or possibly even a medication. Symptoms can start within seconds of the exposure to the allergen and can become life-threatening very fast. Additionally, Oftentimes we see skin manifestations with anaphylaxis, like hives on the skin, which are not so common with an asthma attack. People experiencing anaphylaxis can have swelling of the mouth or the throat, and they can also have digestive problems, including nausea, abdominal pain, and vomiting. And asthma and anaphylaxis are treated very differently. For asthma, we use a quick relief albuterol type inhaler to treat the symptoms of asthma, and for anaphylaxis, epinephrine is the treatment of choice. What do you do if you're not sure whether or not you're having an asthma attack or anaphylaxis? Well, the recommendations are currently to go ahead and use the epinephrine first, because actually epinephrine will help open up the lungs and also help to start to reverse the symptoms of anaphylaxis. And then after you, you have used the epinephrine, you can use your quick relief albuterol inhaler. It's important that you work with your allergist to adjust your asthma action plan and anaphylaxis treatment plan so that you know what to look for in the future if you experience symptoms of either asthma or anaphylaxis.